Hello, I'm Dr. Annadale, and I teach philosophy at Mount St. Mary's University in Emmitsburg, Maryland. This is a follow-up video about the memory palace, with one more example of how it works. In a previous video, I described the memory palace technique, and I gave an example of how it works using my own memory. Uh, I memorized a list of saints' names, 12 names. But some of you may think, that, that sounds pretty easy for you, Annadale. After all, you probably go to church a lot, you hear these names, and anyway, names are easier to memorize than scientific vocabulary. So I'm going to go through one more example drawn from something completely outside of my uh, sphere of expertise in philosophy and in Catholicism, something I chose at random just this morning, the noble gases. This is the helium group on the right side of the periodic table. I'm going to try to memorize all the noble gases and their atomic numbers. To add a second piece of information to your memory palace, you need to find a way of incorporating it into the trigger image that you create at step five. This can be tricky, especially with large numbers, but remember, you can always play on the sound of the words or of some other association that the word or the number has for you. Uh, for example, the number 42 from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There are six noble gases, so I'll just use the first six locations in my memory palace. So, uh, to go through them in order. The first location is the keys rack, and the first noble gas is helium, atomic number two. The second location, the kitchen sink, neon, atomic number 10. The third location is the freezer, argon, 18. Then the sofa, krypton, 36. The television, xenon, 54. And lastly, the bookshelf, Radon 86. A couple of hours ago, I sat down and tried to think up some trigger images, and here's what I came up with. For the first one, the keys rack, helium 2. I think of two red helium balloons tied to my keys rack. Sounds easy. For the second one, the kitchen sink, neon 10. Uh, there's a red neon sign inside my kitchen sink, shining up out of it, and it's shaped like a 10 gallon cowboy hat. The kind of thing you might see outside of a cowboy-themed casino. 10-gallon hat, neon. The third location, the freezer. Uh, this is for Argon 18. Um, I imagine the door is off the freezer again. There's a pirate sitting in the freezer, and he's saying R. That gets me Argon. And he's 18 years old. Uh, the sofa is my fourth location. Uh, and the element is Krypton 36. So I think of Superman lying on my sofa. He's sick because he's been exposed to kryptonite, and he's got three cartons of eggs balanced on his chest as he's lying on his back. Three dozen eggs, 36 eggs. That gets me krypton 36. The uh, fifth location is the TV, xenon 54. This is a tricky one, but what I came up with is the TV is showing the movie Alien, and the xenomorph, the alien, has just appeared on the screen, and Ripley's activated the self-destruct countdown on the Nostromo, and there are 54 seconds left showing on the self-destruct timer. So that gets me Xenon 54. My last memory palace location is the bookshelf, and I need to remember Radon 86. I initially thought about using a radio, but I think that might get me confused with radium, which is a different element. So to remember Radon, I think I thought of this. Uh, on my bookshelf, the, instead of the normal group of books, there's just one book, lots of copies of one book uh, from shelf on every shelf from edge to edge, and the book is titled Raid on Tokyo. It's about the Doolittle Raiders in World War II, and it was published in 1986. So that gets me Raid on 86. So those are my uh, six mnemonics for my memory palace for the noble gases. Um, I'm gonna practice them over the next couple of days, and with any luck, by the end of the week, I'll know all six noble gases and their atomic numbers. If some of these mnemonics end up not working for me, I may think up some new ones. Uh, doubtless, if you were trying to memorize these, you would think up a different set of triggers suitable to your own experiences and your own memory palace. So that's my additional example, incorporating a second piece of information into the memory palace. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.